Hey, welcome back guys to another video. This is Chrono Cross. This has been my platinum walkthrough for it where I'm, I'm going to take you through all the trophies, all the achievements, in I think it's going to be roughly about 10 hours. I've got it all planned out, but I've not done like a exclusive run yet, just to check how fast it can be done. But yeah, I think about around a 10 hour mark. There is a trophy for doing over 500 encounters and winning them. I'm only going to be doing encounters which we have to. I'm not doing a lot of random battles just because they consume a lot of time. Um, so what we'll do, I'll take you through everything else. Then at the end, you can do the grinding yourself for the kills. Or you may want to just do more kills than me. As we go, you may want to do a few random battles uh, just to make it go easier at the end. But they are battles do take a long time to begin with. But much later on, we'll be much more stronger and it'll be much quicker. But I will show you a farming spot for them at the end. Where if you wanted, if you had a turbo controller or some other means, you could just leave a controller on turbo and then leave the game on and it'll just do all the battles for you automatically. There are cheats you can use in this, so we're gonna it's gonna be like a zero difficulty. I'm not gonna be showing you how to win battles because there's cheats. You can play about battles if you if you want, you know, check out the tutorials and combat system. Uh, but if you're having too much trouble, I would just put the cheats on, very easy, just press a button. Or obviously take a bit more time in the battles but there's a lot of things you can miss here there's a lot to keep track of so I just want to try and keep you know keep on point with all that and then you can sort of do the battles yourself if you don't want to use the cheese but I'm using the cheese just so I can explain to you all these tricky things you need to bear in mind I will have a text guide to go along with this by the way I'll put in the description as I load up as I upload a video I'm going to also upload my text guide for that part of the video. Uh, like I said, it'll be linked in the description. So if you miss anything I say, you know, or you just want to clarify something, you didn't quite hear me, or you think maybe I could have explained something better, hopefully it's better explained in the text that I've done. And you can see it all there. When it comes to things which are important, I will point it all out to you. I'm, I'm trying to slow it down on screen when we do come across some important but sometimes I do press buttons too quick and I accidentally go past it. But I will be talking you through everything anyway. So it should hopefully not be a problem. There's a few saves which you have to make which are very, very important, which we're gonna load later on. So when I do point them out, when you go to save your game, you've got slot one and slot two. You've got like 15 save slots in each, maybe, well maybe not that many, maybe about 12. You've got 15 save files in each slot. Uh, slot 2, you want to save that for the guide. Any saves I advise you to make, because we're going to be reloading later on, use slot 2 for them only. And never touch slot 2 yourself unless I advise. And then when you want to save the game yourself, save that into slot 1. Then, hopefully, you shouldn't accidentally override a very important save. So slot 2 is for me, Opti, and slot 1 is for yourself. Um, but yeah, I think that's mostly everything. Like I say, I'm going to explain everything as we go along the way, guys. I can't just lob everything on you to begin with. So I remember when I first came through this game, a lot of the mechanics really did confuse me until I played the game a bit. And then it's mainly the new game plus and the continued plus and all the characters that you need. Um, but I'll point it all out to you along the way. Okay, so settings. Yeah, I'm going to put it on full. Uh, my... Obviously, screen style Chrono Cross. Yeah, let's do this. So, you can obviously, there's cheats to be invincible, like pretty much God mode. There's cheats to have no random battles. So, cheats to automatically win battles. That's good for farming later on. And there's cheats to double speed and to half the speed. So, here we go Chrono Cross. The sequel to New Game, uh, sorry, the sequel to Chrono Trigger. There's a lot of people think it's the best RPG of all time. I actually had a lot, of, I've got a lot of fond memories of Chrono Trigger, actually. I played it when I was younger. Um, so, it's your sort of overall commands. You can see on the right there, no random battles, it's L3. Battle boost is R3, that's pretty much God mode, like I said. L3 and R3 together is so auto battle. And then you've got R2 for double speed and L2 for half speed. Right, so confirm. This is the only cut skin sort of FM FMV cut skin full motion video which you can skip. And yeah, I know they don't look very they don't look very good. 
All right, so I'm sticking on. You can see all my icons there on the right, on the left. So get through this dialogue. Yeah, some dialogue options are very important, but I point everything out to you. Do not worry. Um, okay, so when you begin, press triangle to bring up the inventory. Go into customize. Go down into circle press and change that to walk. What that means, that means you will always run by default. And when you hold circle, it will make us walk now. And in window frames, by the way, you have to get all these for a trophy. This is how you check which ones you have. Come into window frame, custom, and you can pick. These are basically your frames. At the moment, you start with three. So you've got one, two, three. You start with three, you need all 15. So that's how you check how many you have. All right, guys. So come through here first. Each video is going to be probably about half hour long. I'm going to cut out any long battles and any long dialogue, which is nothing really important to show. Um, just because, like I say, it's all sort of automated with the cheese. Yeah, come through there, up here. First hot cave, there'll be a prism. Interact with that with the X button. And then come back through here. And onto the teleporter in the middle. Ignore this little robot there. Yeah, press X on the teleporter. Yeah, fortunately, there's no prompt uh, notifications that appear on screen to let you know you can use X there. You just have to spam X everywhere. Yeah, get through this dialogue. Don't spam it too quick because otherwise, if you are spamming, of course, if you press X again after the dialogue, you'll use the teleport again and go back down. Yeah, come and open this huge door. Yeah, it's just a, this is a fog gate. It's going to be a big boss behind it. Yeah, it's a cutscene here. And um, we've got a bloody knife. I think it's blood. And you'll wake up back in your house. Yeah, that's a prologue. Long prologue, isn't it? If only prologues were like that nowadays. Now again, now nowadays prologues are like bloody hour long. Yeah, you'll get his trophy when you wake up. The awakening. Yeah, that's for waking up. Yeah, after that, come and interact with your bed. Sometimes you might have to slow down the speed to interact with something because you'll just be running past the interaction point. Yeah, take out your not so secret savings. You'll get 200 gold. After that, yeah, you do not want to rest. Yeah, come to these pots in the left hand corner, interact with them, just keep spamming X, and you'll find a tablet. That's actually five tablets it gives you. But take that, and then come outside. Yeah, I'm actually reading my notes at the same time, so bear with me. Come outside, come down here, yeah, interact with this cart, press X. There you go until you get that. You'll find a new frame, and this is the shellfish frame. So that's frame 4 out of 15. Once you've got that, we're going to come into this house on the right, the right, the one to the right of the pier. Come into the back room. I'm going to talk to this bro at the bottom. There you go. The nice socks. He'll give you the shark tooth. Yeah, we'll take it. We need this to get a character later. Yeah, shark tooth. And your key items, by the way, press square. They show up in here for you to use later. So shark tooth. After you've got that, come back outside. Yep, yeah, and out here, over to the world map. On the world map, going to go southwest into Lizard Rock, north. Once in here, press X to push this rock. Take the bottom path. Push this rock to block that sort of cave come around the top here and that cause that enemy to run into the cave get blocked and then we can engage him this is like a story battle that's why it's still engaged even when i had no random battles on that happens a lot of story battles that enemy in the middle by the way that's a beach bum and they have a chance to drop humor at the end of the battle when you've killed him and um, we actually need three before we finish here but i'll let you know when you need to get them three humors if you haven't got them already but yeah, kill these enemies. You get a Commodo scale, which we need for story reasons. Yeah, so I've got all my modifiers on. I've got auto battle and I've got my sort of god mode. That's why they keep god mode on this. They'll just keep missing. Every single attack they do will miss. Nothing will hit you. Right, and yeah, we've got, you see there, we've got humor. You also want a fang, uh, but you should get that fang sort of naturally throughout these battles. Yeah, take the top left exit. 
Now we want to catch this one. Just keep running around till you catch him. It's pretty fast. Yeah, so just keep running around there anti-clockwise until you catch him. If any of them run away, by the way, off the screen, just exit the screen and come back in. And they should have respawned as long as you haven't killed them. But you know if you've killed these anyway because you need the combo scale. So that's um, Punk's dead. Yep, got a feather and a bone from them. Okay, got another combo scale. Now what we're going to do, we're going to come back around here, we're going to go down this ladder. We're going to loot this chest for another tablet. Well, another five tablets. Yeah, loot that chest, there we go. And yeah, get around this enemy. Right, once you've got that tablet, got two combo scales and then battles. Come back all the way, came back to the world map. Now, once you're back on the world map, guys, you want to make a manual. This is going to be one of our key saves. So go to save, save again, slot two. Remember, slot two is mine, slot two belongs to me. So there you go, make a save in slot two. That's your first key save. Never, ever, ever overwrite that save. Come into Arnie Village, and now I'm going to head into the pier if I can get there. I'm too fast, I know. Yeah, and talk to Lena. Yeah, she'll ask you she'll ask you some uh, bogus questions and we're gonna answer with sure, no problem. So let's get through a dialogue and you'll see the, the um, choice appear in a second. And yeah, sure, no problem. That's fine, Lena, I can do that. I've got two already, I only need to get one more. Right, once you spoke to her come outside you can speak to her earlier but the reason we didn't speak to her then is because of this that critical save that we made um, but yeah come to lizard rock now I take the bottom right exit and then the middle exit at the top up here if he's blocking your way you might have to jump back yeah okay I need to turn the speed down yeah take the top exit and then slow the speed down and come back on yourself and come through here. Right, we need to jump on that Commodore, Commodore now. So turn off double speed and then time it. Just press X to jump off. And there you go, to land on his head. Land inside him. So we're going to kill these punks and then the boss is going to appear. Another perp. And once you kill this boss, you'll get a level. The way the levels work in this game is you can get like... You can get like sort of ghost levels between um, level up, but it sort of caps after like five to eight battles, it'll cap, and you won't get no like ghost increases in between key battles. But key battles normally will give you a level up, and it's like a guaranteed. So it's not like most games where you have to farm XP for levels. In this game, it gives you a level up on specific boss type enemies, and in between them level ups, you can get ghost levels, but like I say, only only to a certain amount eventually you'll stop getting the ghost levels and you can't get any more so I don't do the ghost levels just because it means I'm gonna have to do loads of battles but if you wanted to you can it's not really required in terms of getting strong enough we will get strong enough anyway without them but you have to grind a load of kills at the end of the game so it sort of will save you a bit of time now anyway but battles are gonna take a long time now just because we have a very weak setup to begin with Right, so you've got a Commodore scale. Now we need to get three humor guys. So to check your materials, come into equip, pick any character, go into accessories, and you can see here. So I've got one humor, two fang. You also want one fang, by the way. Uh, the Commodore pups drop them, I think. Um, or it may, yeah. Or it may be the, um, you know them blue lizard type enemies, they might drop them. So you want one fang and you want three humor. I've got one humor. And it's these guys that drop the humor. So I'm just going to engage in battle with a beach bum. You can also run from a battle. So yeah, you see this guy in the middle? I think they're the guys that drop the fangs. Um, I'll tell you their name in a second. Yeah, the sand squirts. Yeah, the sand squirts drop the fangs. So hopefully I'm going to get two humor dropping. They don't always drop their common drop, but most of the time they will. Yeah, a lot of the boss type battles later on do get quite long. So yeah, we'll be cutting them out and any long dialogue. Okay, so 
I've got one humor, so I need to get one more still. Bloody hell. Okay, so another here's another one. We'll engage him. Another beach bump. When you inside a a area, normally if you leave the world map and come back, that normally uh, that normally respawns all the enemies. Oh, he's killed. He's um some of some of his mates. No problem. We can get more humor now. Yeah, what I do, once got humor, we're just going to engage in one battle, then we're going to run away. And that'll give us a trophy from running away from a battle. Okay, see what I got. Humor. Yeah, I've got three. So I've got all the humor I need. And I'm just going to run away from a battle quickly. We'll run away from this guy. So I'm going to turn off auto battle. Otherwise, you will not be able to pick any commands. And I'm just going to choose run from battle at the bottom. Run away. Run away. Right, turn on all my modifiers. We get a trophy there. A tactical retreat. Yeah, that was a very tactical retreat, I guess. Okay, so we're going to take top left exits now, guys. And, um, yeah, back to the wood map, but to the south part. So top left exits. We've got everything that we need. And onto a passer beach. When you get to a passer beach, there's going to be um Yeah. Very important dialogue choice here. So don't go through her dialogue too quick. Yeah, just take your time. I mean you're probably reading it anyway, but if you are skipping through it like me, you should be very careful. Um so here you go, here's the first one. So you want to choose I remember. You remember to pick that one. Very, very important. I remember. There you go. And um, you've got a few more windows and there's going to be another important choice. You see that takes 10, 20 years and it's shortly after that. Here we go. For this one, you want to choose we'll never forget this day. So yeah, we'll never forget this day. Make sure you pick that dialogue choice, guys. Very, very important. If you do make a mistake, you can just uh, reload and autosave because the game, every time you go into the, the world map or cross a save point, there's a sort of um, a green floating diamonds which you'll see around. So whenever you go into a world map or pass through a save point, the game will autosave. And the autosave is always saved in the first file on slot one. So yeah, if you make a mistake, you can normally just load a autosave and that will reset you back at the last time you're on the world map or back at the last time you crossed a save point. So after the cutscene guys, you'll wake up. We're actually in a different time now. Yeah, you'll wake up to get through this dialogue and exit the beach back to the world map. Yep, and we're going to come back into this rock south. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and interrupt with this little hole and you'll jump down it and then get his chest in the middle. There's a feather inside. I get that just in case you didn't get one. You get the feather and then press X where you jump down to get back. Come around here, take the top right exit. And take the top right exit again back to the world map. And then back on the world map, we're going to go back into Arnie Village. We're going to enter the first house on the right. Fuck, here we come on. <laughs> yeah, enter the first house on the right and take the first door on the far right and they bring into the bedroom interact with this um, curtain and you'll be a chest behind it with tablet inside take the tablet yep come back outside back to the village and um, go left one screen and then head into this house on the left I'm going to interact with the Japanese sort of symbol on the wall and you find another tablet that, that little um, green floating thing there, guys, that's what a save point looks like, by the way. Okay, so just make sure we're all on track. Press triangle, go into elements, go into allocate, pick somebody, and you should have 20 minimum tablets at the moment. I've got one because the enemy dropped one, I think, but you should have 20. If you don't have 20, then you missed one of them pickups. Uh, so if you did, just go back in the text guide and you should be able to find out where they were, or obviously go back in the video. Alright, so um, once done that guys, you're going to come back to the centre 
I'm going to go up to the pier and talk to Lino again. Dialogue choice doesn't matter here. Um, so just go through the dialogue quickly. Yep, once you got through that, come back to the village. I'm going to go back to the world map. And I'm going to go to the pier on the on the west, the west side here, Cape Howe, yeah, to the west, and just head straight up. I will be looting some chests, uh, by the way. If you want to loot all the chests you pass, you can do. The chests I'm going to be looting are mainly ones that are close by, and they've got a piece of equipment which is unique, or uh, like a very rare material. I won't be looting too many, so I'll leave that for you guys. Yes, yeah, so there's going to be a battle here with Karsh and Salt and Pepper. Yeah, Chuckle Brothers over here. Maybe a cutscene. So get through this battle, guys, and I'll pick it up after the battle because there's going to be some key choices after this battle. Yeah, Kid will help you, by the way. So you're not going to be by yourself. Two against three. Right, once you killed him, you should hit level two. You get level two now. You get a few items. Now again, just like that Lena before on the beach, go through this dialogue a little bit slowly because it's going to be a critical choice. It doesn't begin until Kid gets a bit... The camera view will change. Yeah, camera angle will change to about... She'll walk closer to Tombstone and that's it. Shortly after she does this, that's when you're going to get a dialogue choice. So slowly go through the dialogue. Once she gets closer to the Tombstone. And here we go. Yeah, you want to choose refuse. <laughs> so refuse first. And then again. Carefully on the second dialogue choice, you want to choose dot 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 dot. Here, choose that one. And on the third critical choice, you want to choose no thanks. We do not want her to join us. So no thanks. So pretty much the bottom option every time I think it was. That's it, she'll run off, upset, crying. Heartbreaker, you. Right, and you'll spawn here. Lena and Poshel will come and give you a nice greeting. Wake up with an English breakfast. Now they'll join your party. So Lena and Poshel will join your trophy, uh, your party. Uh, Poshel's that guy, that little doggy with two tails. Yep, yeah, they'll join your party. Confirm. Right, let's head to Termina. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. So, come outside your house now. Oh, well, somebody's house. It's not mine, apparently. Looks very familiar, though. Yeah, come outside the house. And, um, well, where am I going? Yeah, we're going to head into here now. The house to the right of the dock. Yeah, come to the basement. With the stranger. And go over to him and then make sure you're close enough, press square and use press X on the shark tooth. You know if you've done it correctly because it should trigger this dialogue. Now get through this dialogue and then try and exit the room. And you see that little puppet in the background? It will join you. Yeah, you get your mojo back here. Yeah, it will join your party. Yep, confirm. There you go, now you've got a nail. That's it, he's in your party now. We've got four people in our party. Uh, okay, so back to world map. I'm gonna enter Fossil Valley to the north. Uh, yeah, to the north. There we go, Fossil Valley. Head forward, there'll be a bit of dialogue. Just get through it and they'll let you pass. Pass this enemy, take the first path leading up. Interact with this guy, tell him, yes we are, and he'll let you pass, past. In the screen, talk to this guy, he'll let you past as well. Come to the top, and you'll get greeted by Skelly, the clown skeleton. And, um, he'll, he'll ask you something, and you want to tell him, sure. Yeah, tell him, sure, we will help him find his body. That's it, and once you've done that, you'll receive the heavy skull. And then come down here. It's, it doesn't look like a path, but as you can see, it is. 
and um, that soldier will warn you but don't listen to him he's just a bit of a pussy yeah come over here and loot this big egg interact with this egg the one the only one which isn't broken but be ready because the dodo on the left is going to try and chase you down that's it quickly go back up you do not want to get ambushed by the dodo they were very mean creatures. Yeah, come back down the ladder afterwards. Yeah, that dodo, even if you got random battles off, it will still engage you in battle. Yeah, now come to the far left, you'll meet these punks again. So again, guys, just take, kill these guys, and um, I'll catch you after the battle. All right, we defeated them. You'll get level three after that. So once you beat them, you're gonna go through a top exit where they're retreating and we're going to head into Termina on the left the big city off the main island yeah Termina now when you first come in it be a little bit dialogue so just get through that and then carry on up the steps and you'll see Kid briefly there'll be a little bit more dialogue yeah so up the steps there she is After that, continue upwards, and you'll find the statue polisher, polishing statue. Go and have a chat with him. Yeah, kid will come in in a minute. And we're going to let her join us now, finally. Yeah, so tell her, okay, let's go. And she'll join you. And she'll also give you the teleporter. Yeah, Sarge receives the teleport. What that does, if you use it on the world map, it lets you change who's in your current party. Alright, yeah, there we go, kid. You can put kid in your party, change her with Lena, so you've got Sarge, Lena, and Poshal. And once you've done that, come to the left here, and there's actually somebody hidden behind this building. And he'll torture you automatically once you get close enough. And he'll give you, as long as you choose understood. Do you get my drift? Yeah, I understand. And because you think she's such a nice guy, he'll give you the T for three frame. Yeah, that's another frame we need, guys. So that should be five out of 15 we've got at the moment. And then once you've got that, come down the steps and then take a left exit. Continue left and take these pink steps leading up to the north. There we go. Go into the store and talk to the guy at the top right here. Just get through this dialogue and uh, Nikki will come in. Uh, sorry, not Nikki, Miki. Sounds the same almost. And tell her, okay, rock on. Sorry, I did get through that dialogue a bit too fast. But yeah, tell her, okay, rock on. That's it, that's all we need to do. Come back out, back down the pink steps. And go right back to the main part, of the, back to the entrance area. And then continue right now into the next screen. And keep going right. Yeah, just keep going right. Once you get here, you get this automatic dialogue. There's like a little story sequence. Just get through this. Yeah, once you got through that, talk to this woman in purple afterwards. And you want to tell her, yes, I do want to trade. Come into trading post, go down to leather, press X. And then you want to give her 20 tablets. There we go. Well, sorry, not 20, 18. Give her 18 tablets. And what that will do, that will give us one leather. We're trading 18 of them for one leather. Make the exchange, yes. So now you've got one leather. So yeah, we got a leather, guys. Number in stock, one. Once you've done that, come left. Take the top exit. And going to enter this house at the top, Van Gogh's. Yep, jump into here. And press X at the back of the stairs to get a profiteer purse. Once you've got that purse, come down the bottom and come to Smithy House. And talk to Zipper at the front desk. Yeah, talk to her and we want to disassemble, uh, where is it, accessories. Disassemble the profiteer purse. Yeah, so disassemble that. Yeah. And they're going to forge weapons. You're going to make the iron swallow. You should have what you need. One iron, one feather, one humor. 
forge that. And then you also want to forge the iron dagger. You've got one iron, one fang, one humor. Yep. And then you also want to craft uh, yeah, the iron the glove. One iron, one leather, one humor. And they also all cost 420 gold each. Yep, craft that. If you are short of money, by the way, you can go into sell and you can just sell something which you don't need, like one of these males or a vest. Uh, you can sell one of them or sell a accessory. Um, but yeah, once you've got them guys, come out and uh, we're going to equip them now. So go into triangle, equip, you're going to put the Iron Swallow on um, Sarge. You're going to put the Iron Dagger on Kid. And you're going to put the Iron Glove on Poshu. Right, we're ready to go. So we're going to go all the way back to the world map now. Yep, down here, back to the world map. Right, we're going to go right into Shadow Forest. Yep, into Shadow Forest. And we're going to go left. And you should meet Nikki. should be a bit of dialogue here. Yeah, continue left. Yeah, you'll see Nikki. Right, follow him. Her, him. Yeah, I think it's him. Yeah, into this screen. And you see he's about to be attacked. Yeah, you're going to engage in that battle and just help him. Just kill all these enemies now. Yeah, but after that battle, guys. Um, yeah, you should get a new level. It should be level 4 now. Yeah, Nicky will run into that cave below underneath the waterfall. We're going to follow him in there. Yeah, so in that waterfall there. And you're going to come talk to him. Yes, as soon as you get close to him, this should trigger automatically. And you'll get a, you'll get a prompt soon to say if you want him to join. Tell him, sure. Yeah, you can join us. And he'll join your rocking band. And then, yeah, I'm going to tell him no thanks. It's up to you, you might want to listen to a song. Um, but yeah, I'm going to tell him no thanks. Don't have time. Right, get through dialogue. And it'll take you outside the cave. You're going to go back in. Yeah, go back into the cave. And interact with this letter on the floor. That's the old notebook and say don't read it and then you'll find some inside say pick it up and you'll get the angry scapula that's actually part of skelly which we need that's his um penis yep and um loot the chest afterwards for the aroma pouch and then come outside yeah come to the top top left and interact with this bush and it'll make a red ball pop out now you're going to take that red ball Back to the very first screen. And there'll be this red blob. Now you need to use it to lure this red block blob back to that area where the waterfall was. Um, but don't let him get too close because you'll eat it and you have to go and get another one. There you go. You might want to turn off the double speed here. Just get his attention. Like I say, don't let him get too close to it because he'll eat it and you have to go back and get another one. Yeah, and lower it into this screen. It's got to be the red blob. Very important. There's other blobs, but it must be the red one. Yeah, bring him down here. Basically, you're trying to lure him towards this massive monster. If you get too far away, like so, he will sort of um, just start wandering around. You have to get his attention again. There we go. Got him. Come on, come and get this. You know you want your dinner. Oh no, it's too far again. Got him. Yeah, and once it gets close enough to this huge monster, it'll wake up and then interact with it. And because it ate the red blob, instead of trying to fight you, it'll shrink and then just materialize. It'll turn back into a baby. And he'll give you the skull dug reframe. So that should be frame 6 out of 15 at the moment. And also we should have 5 of the 44 characters that we need. And we'll have 4 of 99. So yeah, you get a frame, guys. School degree, and he'll run off. 
and they follow left and they come over here and you get ambushed by these punks uh, salt pepper and zoa so kill these guys and then you'll get another level once they're dead yeah you'll hit level 5 of 99 and then head upwards into that cave at the bottom of this big tree. And yeah, now we're going to head forward a few screens. Let's head through here. Yep, yeah, head up this current. As long as you walk straight, you should be able to get up here. And yeah, then continue up, and there'll be a little cutscene in a second. Yeah, through this cave, up here, and get some dialogue. Yep, yeah, that's it, little cutscene. After that awesome looking cutscene, take this exit on the right. And then come to the barn in the top right. There you go, come into here, the tent slash barn. And then come to the save point, guys. Um, that's going to be it for that video. So um, we're not making a key save here. But you may just want to make one of the normal saves in slot one. Yeah, this isn't a key save. Just because it's the end of the video, I'm going to be saving anyway. But yeah, it's not a key one. So leave slot two alone yep and so yeah we'll leave it there for that one guys thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one